This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Inter, they face Benfica, and the action is next, live on EA TV. A huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Inter up against Benfica. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And a look at the Inter team. Francesco Acerbi plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Well, they're going to play with a slightly withdrawn centre forward who will look to find space behind the opposition's midfield. But it's important he doesn't drop too deep, otherwise his partner will get isolated. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Martinez. Barella. Mkhitaryan. Dzeko. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Jekko. Now Mikitarian takes it on. And that's sound goalkeeping. Now a short corner here. And a significant block following that cross. Martinez and unfortunately for him he had worked his way into an offside position and I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside well so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez not least because he can be so effective Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, what form he's in at present. Second in the league table in terms of goals. He's been so clinical and ruthless, and I expect him to get more today. Rafa. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Really vital interception. Jacko, Federico Di Marco, Martinez, on to Barella, 
Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Florentino. And with it, Joao Mario. Nicely timed tackle. Florentino. Alexander Bach. Well, attacking possibilities. Joao Mario. Well, out of play, under pressure. Barella, Martinez, beautifully weighted ball. And players waiting at the far post. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Untidy on the ball. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. Barella. And no way through. Simple catch, really. Florentino. Joao Mario in position here to protect the ball. Oh, nice ball. Joao Mario. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Shot attempted. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. This looks interesting. Possession changing hands. And the counter looks on here, options available. Di Marco. How can they create something? Not to be this time. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Can he put them in front? And thumped away. Chiquinho. Trying to really get at the opposition here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Now can they counter clinically? And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Magnificent defending. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. And it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway.
Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, very effective play in possession. Well, disappointing end to the move. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will they profit from this situation? Florentino had a chance to whip it in here. Mkhitaryan and threading it forward. He's managed to get in behind. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And Dzeko does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly, there's no stopping that. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Barella. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Takes the shot. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Florentino. And in possession, Chiquinho. Now can they make something happen? Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Dzeko. Matteo Damian. It's with Chalanolu. Every pass hitting its target. Well, just couldn't play that decisive ball. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. And Inter doing well to regain possession. Collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. And into the last 20 minutes. Joao Mario. Aursnes. Gonzalo Ramos. Top class defending. Now can they counter clinically? Dzeko. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ramos. Now a decent position. 
Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Rafa. Bar. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These Inter fans are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Now he must favour the cross. Mkhitaryan shielding the ball superbly. Happy to take on the shot. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. going for the short one great block Brozovic superb defensive judgment to end the attack and routine for the keeper in the end the cross far too close to him Francesco Acerbi Hendrik Mkhitaryan Return to Mkhitaryan And with that, the attack fizzles out They will now make use of the substitutes bench We've had the official word There will be a minimum of two added minutes Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. And there's the final whistle. A thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage of the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, it was a good goal, a decent performance and just about the right result. While he can play better, we saw glimpses of his quality today.